Hey guys, welcome to the video and the channel for those who are new. This is just to make you aware that Gold Leaf has finally updated. It was stuck forever, like on 0.8. Now it's version 0.9 and it seems to work fine with everything that is current. For those of you that have a modded switch, you may have realized if you use Gold Leaf that somewhere in the 10 point something firmwares, Gold Leaf broke and was no longer working. And for sure, it didn't work in any of the 11 point whatever firmwares. But now this latest update adds a couple of things and it also adds compatibility to the most current firmware and everything else that's current. So you can see here my system is on the current firmware, which as of the making of this video is 11.0.1. And I'm also on the most current atmosphere, 18.0. So let's go ahead, go into Gold Leaf, take a quick look around, and then that's it. We'll call it there because this is not going to be a tutorial or to show you how to use Gold Leaf. It's just to make you aware that it has been updated. So here we are at Gold Leaf 0.9, and as you can see, it looks pretty much the same as 0.8. A couple of changes. One is to the background color, but we're going to talk more about that here in a bit. And then here on the main menu, I believe there was a tab that had Amiibo management where you can select that. And now that's gone. There's just the Amiibo dump, but everything else is pretty much the same. I haven't used it in a while, so I don't know exactly uh, what's changed here on the various menus. Among other things that Gold Leaf can do, it is a backup game installer and it can install backed up games that you have in different formats to your Switch, either to the internal memory or the SD card. You can also install them straight from a PC. So if you have the backed up game in a PC, you don't have to put it on your SD card first. You can install it straight to your Switch from the PC, either to your SD card or to the internal memory. Now that's something that you were able to do before, that's not new, but I believe now you can install backed up games that you have on a USB storage device uh, straight from there to your Switch. So I'm gonna be testing that out. I know Tinwu installer does that as well, and I suspect other installers will be adding that feature in the future because before only SXOS was able to do that, but now you can do it with Atmosphere thanks to the advancements with Lib USB HSFS. I'm going to be doing tutorials on that stuff here shortly. So anyway, I believe that's a new feature that they've added. I've tested a couple of things out that I remember I used to use and everything seems to work fine, including installing a game, getting rid of pending updates and things like that. Now about the background, every time you come into the Gold Leaf Homebrew, the background changes color. So we get out of this and let's go right back into Gold Leaf. You're gonna see the colors going to change. There we go. And oof, that's a nice looking uh, bright fuchsia color. Now I believe the colors just change at random. I thought before it just goes in order and then it cycles back, but it has, I think about eight different colors or so that it cycles through. I don't know if there's a way you can change that to just keep one color permanent. I went to the Gold Leaf settings and there's nothing like that there. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know in like a quick video. All right, so now if we head on over to the Gold Leaf GitHub, for those who are new and have never used this, I strongly recommend that you read over the README file that's here on the main GitHub page. Maybe some of you who have used it in the past, but you're not all too familiar with it and you want some more information about some of the features and options, this is a great place to look. When you're ready to snag that update, head on over to the releases. You can see that this latest 0.9.0 change log is here and it is quite extensive. Now I looked over it very quickly and it does confirm the removal of the Emubo manager that I talked about a couple of minutes ago. Also the random them color scheme palettes are mentioned here. So yeah, whenever you go into Gold Leaf, that color changes and the introduction of USB drive support. Now, when you head on over to the assets, you have the goldleaf.nro file. If you have this file already in your switch folder, 
then go ahead and just delete it and replace it with this one. If you have a gold leaf folder, you can go into that folder. You can delete all of the contents that are there if you don't have anything of value in there. And then you can put this NRO right into that gold leaf folder. And then when you run it the first time, it will populate all the files that it needs inside of that folder. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you found anything here useful, informative, helpful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, as always, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I put up videos and when I put up YouTube community posts. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but make sure you have fun and I will see you on the next one.